Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So, I feel bad. I feel bad because I got these 10 emotional needs that both sexes need from a book. But I can't give credit to the author because I forgot to write it down. Stay tuned. Alright family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So again, it is the five, five emotional needs that each sex needs in order for them to thrive in a relationship with you. It's five for the man, five for the woman, for a total of ten. Now as a disclaimer, again, I can't give credit to the author because I just can't find the book or maybe it's sitting in my face but I don't realize that it's that author and I just don't have the time and energy to go back and look for it. But I did write down these 10 tips for the emotional side. And he also made it a point to say that in his research, that even if you are, or even if you, even if you are a guy, but you have one of the ladies emotional traits, that's going to happen and vice versa. So even if you are a girl, you can have one of the guy's emotional traits that he needs or she needs to thrive in a relationship with you. So I wrote them down, so wrote them down as in typed them in my phone. <laughs> so I'm going to do the highest on the men's list first. Again, do not be discouraged if you are a woman and you definitely need this in your relationship. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that you have to communicate these things to your lover, spouse, husband, wife, etc. Okay? So you have to make sure that they know. So if any of these resonate with you, can write them down or i.e. type them in your phone and then at some point share them with your spouse lover because this will definitely help to keep the emotions strong and high in your relationship not necessarily every single moment okay fellas don't get you know don't get worried but <laughs> this is definitely what you need so i'm gonna go ahead and get get started so i'm gonna start with the men so his five sex of course is number one for the men now does that mean every single guy no but it is a top one we always like to put sex as a big one for men but for some women and I know some in particular their sex drive is like extremely high and they are the ones who are asking the guy that they're with for the sex so I definitely know that it works on both ends we as a society have a um, we always try to put it on the man, and that's just not true. But specifically, I will say that it is the fantasy portion of it. Men have a tendency to share more of their fantasies that they want sexually, and women more more or less shy away from them. It's not that we don't have any. We just don't like to verbalize them because for whatever reason, we kind of see it as us being dirty or um maybe it's some type of a taboo maybe your friend your your family members put something in your head when you were younger that good girls don't do x y and z so anywho i'm just saying the fantasy portion of the sex is what is high on the men's priority okay number two recreational companionship which actually means you guys are both getting out and doing some of the activities that he likes to do i.e I know people, um, specifically guys that are really into golf or really into some type of a sport, more or less, um, and the women are not into them. But if you can learn how to be with your mate in that recreational um, uh, um, thing that you guys are doing together, then it will absolutely bring you guys closer together. I'm not saying that it has to be on top on your list, like he's into football, he's into basketball, into whatever, soccer, golf, whatever, whatever it is that you want to insert there. It doesn't mean that you have to do it every single time with him, but every once in a while it really would be good for you to jump in, especially if he's asking you to do say it things with them, but you always say no. You should because he's craving these things okay the third one physical attractiveness again I'm not a um, that's a no-brainer but men of course get distracted by the person of the opposite sex and women do too but again this is really high on men's list the physical attractiveness so if weight 
makes you think about the attraction of your partner, that this is a priority for you. If you specifically think about weights, when you think about if a person is physically attractive, then that means you need to get somebody who is more toned, more of what you like versus getting somebody that's either too skinny or too fat and then you're not happy. So get somebody that you know is going to turn you on, basically. They turn you on, get with them. <laughs> At least that's one piece of the puzzle anyway. Number four, admiration. Admiration, of course, is really good. And so if you, the guy, get affected, whether it's good or a bad compliment, then you like to hear the admiration coming in. You want it verbalized. So again, this is some things that you need to make sure that you communicate to your partner that admiration is a big one for you to verbally hear it. Because a lot of times, we don't think that our partner is paying attention and we are as the partner we're paying attention but a lot of times we don't verbalize it like we automatically think that you should be doing x y and z so we we forget to say thank you we forget to um do like the very subtle things that we specifically made sure were getting done especially in the very beginning we have to keep all of those things up but if this resonated with you like oh i like to hear compliments whether they're good or bad you you are a person that needs admiration okay the last one on the men's list is domestic support, which this is really high on the list. On most men's list, they talk about like the cooking, the child rearing, affection um, to a certain degree. They want a peaceful home life. They want the house to be clean. So if this is something that definitely resonated with you, then you need to make sure that you communicate, hey, babe. You know, I really like it when the house is clean. I really like it when the kids are taken care of, the cooking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Even if you're helping out doing these things, again, you need to communicate these things with your partner. Because if you get with somebody um, who is nasty, per se, and they, have, they keep a filthy household, then you are not going to want to be there at all. And that absolutely will increase the chances of some type of infidelity coming in. And actually, this is all of that, but I want to specifically say... <laughs> that with this one but um with any of them really the physical attractiveness the sexual fantasies uh what was the other two uh at oh admiration and now dom domestic support but that can happen through any avenue with either one of the sexes but again we just have to get into the um not the idea we have to get into the habit that's the word we have to get in the, into the habits of making sure that we communicate these things with our partners now i'm gonna move on to the five um, emotional cravings that the woman have for the most part. All right, the first one is, of course, affection. Women really love expect, uh, um, affection, specifically the expression of your love. So if this resonated with you, make sure you share it. Listen, I need to get that hugs, kiss, cuddle, all of that, you know, playfulness, the affection uh, from your guy. The second one, conversation. <laughs> not a uh, it's actually a no-brainer uh, when you both are in a enjoyable conversation with each other this really like heightens and you're like you're more attracted to the person your emotional needs are being met when you do this and um, it's equal opportunity for you both to talk not one person taking over the entire conversation and the person only thing you're doing is listening no this is like really emotionally meeting your needs when both of you guys have a chance to talk and like basically have a ping pong game in the conversation where you both are going back and forth and hearing what the other person has to say and then obviously um, answering off of that. You and, and, and this one is high on your list if you have a need to have conversation with anybody. If you know that you are a talker, <laughs> make sure that you and, and really your partner should see that you are a talker really but you you might not have explained it to them that this is really high on your list for you to be able to have a ping pong conversation about things because a lot of times we get trapped into only being the ones just talking never hearing what our partner has to say because anytime they try to say something you cut them off like they're trying to say whatever it is, and then, and then you jump in because you're not listening. You have to listen. All right. 
The third one for most women is openness and honesty, which again is a no-brainer. Openness and honesty. We want you guys to open up. We want you guys to be honest, even if it hurts our feelings, because going down the trail of lying, you're gonna you're gonna have to keep up with that lie. And the only way to keep up with that lie is guess what? To keep lying and lying and lying and lying. And you might even compound the lie. And you might be lying about the said things so much that you start to believe the lie. So even when it hurts our feelings, we actually want to hear the truth. You might not like the emotional, the emotions that come with it, like the crying and, you know, why me and maybe some of the things that, that the woman is saying to you. But we, in the long run, we really would rather you have just told us the truth and not the lie. So openness and honesty is number three for women. Number four, a no-brainer as well, is, is financial support. I'm hearing more and more men are like... Um, stay-at-home dads, etc., or uh, the woman is the one who's financially supporting the family. And that's not an issue. But for most women, we definitely look for a guy that could help us in the financial support area. We definitely do. That's a no-brainer. You know, you... We, we, we always have a tendency to see these people out together, whether you have a young one with a uh, with an older person. Usually it's a younger woman with an older guy. We always think that she is the gold digger, but that is not necessarily always the truth. It's not. She might really, really like this guy. He happens to have money. Just never know. Or the older gentleman just pursued her so hard and she was just like, finally, I'm like, I'm going to give dude the chance. You just don't know the story, but we have a tendency to always take it to the negative. So financial support is number four for most women. And number five, which again is a no-brainer for at least most of us, is family commitment. We absolutely want you to take charge in the family arena like you take charge at your job, as in making it just as important to be a part of the family, specifically when you're with the family, not always on your phone, not always texting, not always taking care of business, especially if you're an entrepreneur. You have to you have to absolutely find time for work and for time and find time for family. So that work family balance, you have to be able to balance it out. So when you're with your family, you're with your family. When you're at the job, you're at the job. All right. So those are the 10 top emotional needs for people in general. But specifically, I broke down the men's list. I also broke down the women's list. But again, do not be discouraged if you have any one of those things on the opposite sexes list because we're all different people. But just in general, the guy that did the research, again, I'm sorry I cannot think of your name or the book that I got this from, but his research showed that the five that I gave for each usually is what matches up for men and usually is what matches up for women. Now, that I touch on anything that matches up with you specifically, I'm sure that most of the women can absolutely attest to a lot of things that he said, and of course the men can attest to a lot of things that he said as well. Are there anything, it, not are there, is there anything else that you can absolutely think of that would resonate so it could be on your list? Or do you have a completely different list altogether? I definitely would like to know. Let's continue the conversation down in the comment section below. Of course, give me thumbs up. And if this is your very first time here, go ahead and subscribe for more information, tips and tools um, that I definitely share with you, my family, my YouTube family. Absolutely go ahead and subscribe for more videos just like this. And I will see you in a future video. Deuces.